Hey guys, Mike from MyTech here. I'm going to show you a quick way on to how to customize your desktop, both in moving your dock from different positions and also customizing icons. We're going to go ahead and start from the ground up and we're going to go ahead and show you on how to customize the icon and we're going to go ahead and show you how you move your dock and place the application stacks in the right hand side. So we're going to start with this old comp backup. Now I'm going to go try to find a quick image on the web that basically represents an old computer old computer. So I just go to images in Google search and, and find it and hopefully I can find an icon. Uh, it's not going to work so let's try it. Icon. did this before. had a trouble, try, trouble finding a transparent icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a computer icon. That's fine. Icon. Okay. So a quick and easy way is I already know that I want to use this one. Okay, so I don't even have to save this icon. I can just simply right click and say copy image. I'm going to right click on my old comp backup folder, say get info. Then I'm going to highlight this little folder here in the upper left hand corner. This is the icons for this folder, okay? And I'm going to, you can either do two things. You can go to edit and paste, or you can be lazy like me and use a shortcut, command V as in Victor. As you notice, it places that icon right there, and it automatically updates my my icon over here on my desktop. Now I can go ahead and place this as a stack. Now this is how easy creating stacks is. If you want to make this as a stack, all you got to do is right click and drag into your stack area, and bam, it'll create that stack. Now notice how um, it doesn't bring that icon here, and this is because it's still viewing it as a stack and not a folder. So you're going to make sure you right click on this and say display as folder. By default it will display it as a stack so you need to make sure you right click and say display as folder. And as you can see now it's like I have my old comp backup and there it is. Okay? So this is a quick way of going ahead and making uh, create, changing folder icons and changing folder stacks. And if you wonder what I just did, I just removed it off my dock by just simply clicking and dragging off the dock and because it's a stack and like a, a, a shortcut so to speak and it's not really an application actually anything like a dock is theoretically a shortcut so you can just simply click and drag off your dock and it will have like a little poof symbol see how it has a little poof symbol right there and it will just go away and boom you're done so let me go ahead and show you on how to also position your dock so this is a quick way of positioning your dock you can right click and say position on screen left, bottom, or right. Now you can't put it on the top because it's reserved for the Apple bar. So you need to go left, bottom, or right. Now, and you can also turn magnification on, uh, you know, right on the fly. So I always leave it off, but you can turn magnification on right on the fly. Okay? And remember, you need to right click right in this little dividers area, okay? You can turn that magnification back off. And you can also do, you know, auto minimize, you know, turn auto hide on and off right here with one right click. You can also change the type of effect you want to scale or to be a genie effect. I simply leave magnification off and I position on my right hand side. That that simple. And remove pretty much everything from my dock. So, one other thing I guess for quick uh, customization of the dock is spotlight. So if you want to use um, the quick spotlight function, if you press command space, you can simply type in any program you want. So for example, if I wanted to get to NetShade, I simply just start typing and there it is. Okay, so notice that it's really quick and easy to get to things just by using that spotlight. Now, back when Tiger was around, spotlight wasn't the greatest thing, but now that Leopard's come around, it's, it's improved quite a bit. And now Snow Leopard, evidently, has improved even better. So this is a quick way for you guys to customize your guys' icons and your guys' desktop. If you ever want to revert back to an old icon, let me show you how to do that really fast. You're going to right-click on the thing, say Get Info. Same concept, okay, as before. But what you're going to basically do is remove the icon. So you highlight the icon and you're going to remove it. So you're not going to hit delete. You're not going to, you know, hit, you know, uh, backspace or whatever. You're going to actually cut the icon. Now it's going to put it on your clipboard. So make sure that you go ahead and, you know, do something else and copy something else later on. But you're going to cut the icon. And by default, Matt, the OSX operating system already knows to change that icon back to the old icon. So if we go press Command X or Edit Cut, Either way it works, it will change that back to the old folder icon, the old boring folder icon, and you're good to go. So 
Hope this tutorial helped you out. And if you have any other questions, please go ahead and leave comments, subscribe, or message me. I'd be more than happy to help you out. And please click the like button, click the subscribe button either way in the upper or above the video or below the video. And uh, it will really help us out. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.